Hi everybody, Jason here. So I'm here for my friends and family haul. I just got back from the Yankee Candle Store uh, for the friends and family sale. Um, as most of you know, um, it's a sale that happens twice a year, and I think it's twice, and um, the employees have to invite you. So I was lucky enough to get an invitation this year, and or I guess, I mean, I guess I'm usually invited, but um, sometimes I don't get a call, um, and I'm not like the type of person to just kind of show up and try to get in on the sale. So I was happy that they called me. Um, so when he initially called me, he told me it's going to be six for sixty, and that is a great deal. It's ten dollars a jar for the large candles, and um, so I was really excited. And I posted about it online, and. Um, some employees that work at Yankee were, were like, no, he was mistaken because it's if you buy six, you get 60% off. So I was like, oh, that's still kind of a good deal, but um, I wasn't as excited about, of course, a six for 60. Um, I think that I'm not, I'm terrible at math, but six for 60% off makes the jars 11 something. Um, so is it 1110, 1115, something like that, which is still a good deal. So I decided I would go ahead and do that anyway. So I went in today for my six, and then when I walked in the door, he again, he was like, yay, it's six for 60. And he was like, you know, that hardly ever happens. And I'm like, well, maybe my store is different. So I didn't question it. I was just like, well, maybe if I don't say anything, he'll give me um, the six for 60 price, but I got up to the register with my six and he just took 60% off. So he's just been calling it the six for 60, even though it's actually the six for 60% off, which is a little different, but that's okay. I still got um, a good deal. So I picked up six jars. That's all I got. That's, I'm going to move this just a little. That's all I need. Now I have every fall candle that I want from Yankee. So we'll just get right into it. The first one I picked up was Autumn Lodge. Now this is a favorite, comes back almost every year. This one's a really nice dark one too. So um, as many of you know, this one a lot of people say smells like pipe tobacco. I don't really have a point of reference to what that smells like. I've never been around pipe tobacco. Um, so to me, I think of it as just a very kind of woodsy, musky, smoky fragrance. Um, I don't equate it with pipe tobacco in my mind because I don't know what that smells like and it doesn't have any um, sentimental value to me like it does for a lot of people, but I still really like this scent. It's very cozy and really reminds you of just like a really um, cool day in a cabin somewhere with the fire going. So I love that one. And then the next one I have is Spiced Pumpkin. It is my all-time favorite pumpkin fragrance. Um, and I found a really nice dark one. Um, sometimes they're more orange and sometimes they're darker. So I always try to go through and find the darker one um, just in hopes that it'll be stronger. Oh, I just love this scent. It's not really um, a bakery scent. It's just a very spicy pumpkin scent. And... Um, there's really no bakery note in it. It doesn't smell like a dessert to me, um, like some spiced pumpkins or pumpkin spice scents do. It's just really the spices and the pumpkin. So it's a favorite. Um, the next one I got I'm really excited about is Pumpkin Ginger Bark. Now, I have been waiting for this one for a while now, um, ever since I heard that it was coming out and then it didn't come out with the other fall fragrances along with apple spice and I and I had found apple spice you know at the outlet months ago and so I was just starting to wonder if this was actually ever going to come out and finally it did but even at my store it just had a little a tiny little display table of maybe three or four jars of this and um, a few tea lights and tarts and stuff like that but um, there weren't very many of them and it was kind of hidden in the back of the store well, I guess it was in the front of the store, but in a little corner um, where you could really not, I had to ask where is the pumpkin ginger bark? And they said they thought that this was all they were getting. So anyways, I went ahead and grabbed it. I guess it's just a limited edition or a limited time fragrance, but um, I really 
really like it, but I will say that it smells very similar, and I had heard this online, I'm so sorry about that, um, I had heard online that it smelled similar to Moonlight Harvest and Harvest Welcome, and um, because those two scents are pretty similar, and so... I was very curious to smell this, and um, but I was thinking maybe they're just crazy. Because when I think of bark, uh, a, a ginger bark, I would think of like a dessert, more dessert flavor. And with Harvest Welcome, that I didn't really get much of a food type fragrance. But this one smells very similar to Harvest Welcome and Moonlight Harvest. In fact... I'm not real sure they're different at all, but the good news is I love Harvest Welcome. I actually have a medium jar of it for fall, but, um, and I ought to, I should have grabbed, I, you know what, if you'll bear with me, because I don't edit and you know this, I'm going to grab that Harvest Welcome and do a side by side. Okay, I'm coming. Don't leave me. I'm coming. I'm back. Okay. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison because they are so close, it's crazy. Pumpkin ginger bark. <laughs> Harvest welcome. They are almost identical. I mean, really. One more time, I'm sorry. You can fast forward this. Um, this has a slightly almost like um sharpness to it that this one doesn't have but i and that could just be me but they are so close i'm telling you these ha had to use um the same oil maybe they tweaked it a little bit but um very similar so if you like harvest welcome run out and get you that pumpkin ginger bark i'm still excited about because i love the scent and as you know or as I know, Harvest Welcome is no longer, it's retired. So, okay, moving on. Pumpkin Pie. It's one of my all-time favorites and my second favorite pumpkin fragrance. You know, somebody online said that it smells a little different to them this year, and I kind of have to agree. It smells slightly different. Um, maybe a little heavier on the crust note, which it always had a pretty heavy predominant um, crust note to it, but I'm almost getting more this year. Still smells great though. I love this scent. So pumpkin pie, that's my November scent. I wait to light it in November. And then apple cider is the last one I picked up. Now I love this fragrance. I've had it in tarts many times, but I've actually never had a jar of it, so I'm really excited to have it. And it just smells great. It smells like a true um, spicy apple cider. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I have a review of a candle I want to do, so I'm actually going to make that into another video. But that's my six for 60% off um, friends and family haul. So if you went to the friends and family sale, I'd like to know what you got. And also, um, for those who didn't get invited, there is a two buy two, get two free coupon that's out right now. So, um, you can still get a good deal on candles, um, at Yankee right now. And the, I think the coupon goes until like the end of September towards the end. So, um, get out there and get you some good old fall scents. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.